I'm Sudhir Warrior, a proud Indian Australian. I would call myself an Indian slash Australian. <laughs> Honestly, consider myself both. I'm as Australian as Julia Gillard and Tony Abbott. They both were born overseas, so am I. Australia me rehtiyo, par a in Bharatiyo. Indian and Australian. Australian. Gay Aussie. Australian Indian. Aussie. Well, do I have to choose? There's been a sea change in the position, in the status, in the way Indians in Australia are looked upon. There were hardly any when I first came here. 26 Indians in Adelaide. So if you saw an Indian on the other side of the road, you, you walked and said hello because you never know when you might meet another. And today, there's an overall acceptance. There are more than 450,000 Indians. Indian Aussie, which is coming out now, is extremely confident, they're extremely vibrant. We have Senator Lisa Singh, one of the first uh, Indians to reach the highest stream of uh, politics. Indian Australians are all happening at the moment. There's so much happening in the Indian Australian space at the moment. I will tell the Indian Australians who are living here, just never ever leave your roots and never ever leave your culture. The way I see it is when you're at home, you nurture your culture. When you're outside, you know, amongst our fellow beautiful Australians, you're an Australian. Try and assimilate more into the Australian society is what I would say. At least I have come here for that. My wife and I, Charlene, were both born here. We've got a little one who's born here. Always try and keep the culture there because our culture is able to take many forms. It's not just rituals, but it's also a way of life. I was pleased that the Australian government has included Hindi as one of the languages to learn in the national curriculum. Good. I'm Vishakha here and I want to learn um, Hindi because I want to be attached to my culture. I don't think you should take the Indian out of you. Of course, if you follow your culture, you can walk on a beach with a salwar suit or a burqa and people are going to stare at you. They're going to make comments. But that doesn't necessarily mean racism. Yes, racism exists everywhere, and including India. And yes, there is racism in Australia. I haven't been subject to it. I think there is an expectation to act in a certain Indian way, but it's not from the Australian side, it's from the Indian culture. The mother-in-law rings up the daughter-in-law and says, don't you think that you've become an Australian? You have no right to ask my son to help you with kitchen work. You really are an Indian woman, so therefore shouldn't you sometimes be wearing um, Indian saris? Well, I never really wore them when I was in India. Why would I start wearing them in Australia? Because, that, I mean, I feel that's too restrictive. I only wore a sari and I was accepted. Most things that I've done in Australia and that have happened to me, I think, have been because of the sari. The Indian girl in me still believes in respect for your elders. The Aussie woman in me wants to go out there and challenge the norms. I want to do something different, but I wasn't sure what it was till I came to Australia. Finally achieved my goal, being a driver trainer in one of the largest projects in Australian history. In India, in the mosque for uh, prayer, the women not allowed in the mosque. But in Australia, we have total freedom. The woman can go, kid can go to the mosque. अपने धर्म का जो प्रसार करने का प्रचार करने का जो मौका मिल रहा है ये बड़े सौभाग्य की बात है टू कीप एन ओपन माइंड डोंट शट योर माइंड ऑफ टू न्यू एक्सपीरियंसेस न्यू आइडियाज बिकॉज दे आर सो कॉल्ड वेस्टर्न और एलियन अपने देश की मिट्टी पर जिस जन को है स्वाभिमान नहीं वो सच्चा इंसान नहीं वो सच्चा इंसान for an Indian Aussie like me, suffering from neuronal migration disorder, adopted at three weeks, growing up in Australia with an Indian family, bias, identity, racism, Indian, Aussie, are mere words wrapping the biggest gift I have as an Aussie of any background, freedom, freedom which I can never take for granted.
Remember, terms and conditions apply, always. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. What are you doing? I'm rolling the end credits. You can't end the film here. Why, why not? Are you kidding me? It's a film on Indian Australians. You can't end it without talking about cricket. <sighs> yeah, okay. Let's go back and ask the most important question for an Indian Australian. Which cricket team do you support? I tend to always go for Australia, but then again, I'm a big fan of Sachin Tendulkar's as well. Actually, I go for Indian, but it's only because Australia wins a lot. <laughs> well, it depends on who's winning, obviously. If Australia wins, yes, we go and have a barbecue. If India wins, we go and eat tandoori chicken. I cheer for both of them. Like, uh, if they are... Like, uh, they have a match with the Indian team, I like to support the Indian team. If they have someone else, then I like to support the Australian team. Till Tendulkar is batting, I go for India. After that, I don't watch the TV. You know, every time I get asked that question, it just sort of, you know, it gets me going, because I'm like, I don't like cricket. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Huh? India, Australia, bring it on. India, Australia, bring it on. क्रिकेट का हो मैच जब और सिक्सर पे आउट जब क्रिकेट का हो मैच जब और सिक्सर पे आउट जब सब ने यही कहा bring it on India Australia bring it on India Australia bring it on